It's likely that you know your yardages, but do you know your percentages? To get good at chipping around the greens very quickly, it's a good idea to work on the idea of what proportion of the shot is spent in the air and what proportion is on the ground. Spend 30 seconds on the chipping green before you go out and work out what club is around about 50% in the air and 50% on the ground because then working out your landing spot becomes very easy. I've got my 50 degree wedge here, I've got a 20 yard shot set up in front of me but it doesn't really matter, it doesn't have to be at a target particularly. I'm just going to chip the ball on, see where it lands, see where it finishes and work out the percentages from that. And what would you know? My gap wedge, 50 degrees, gave me 9 yards carry, 18 yards total, so I found my 50% club. So from there the rest should be pretty easy, I've got my 58, my lob wedge, I'm going to try and play a similar shot. This time 9 yards carry has given a 16 yards total, so that's probably near a 60-40 air to ground. So with standard gaps between the clubs, it's quite easy to work out an equation to work out what percentage of air and ground will be with every club that I would chip with. Keep the variables the same when you're practicing, so a nice clean club face, similar kind of lie every time, but most importantly use the same kind of golf ball. Remember these results are working for a standard chip shot, if you want to work out how to hit more height or more spin, give us a shout down here at Golf Tech.